All right, let's look into the life of a sterile processing technologist. All right, we are entering the central sterile department. Each department is unique to its facility, state, country, etc., etc. Okay, we start off by putting on facility issued scrubs. Okay. Um, some facilities may require you to buy your own scrubs, but this facility here, we uh, wear facility issued scrubs. Entering into the uh, central area of the department is the assembling and sterilization area. Pictured here, or this section here, is where we sterilize items before they are used on patients. We use high temperature sterilization and, as shown here, low temperature sterilizers for items that are moisture and heat sensitive. Okay, we are now looking at the assembly and inspection area where each instrument is inspected, tested, assembled, and packaged prior to sterilization. This department has 18 stations. Um, some are larger, some are smaller. Okay, you will also see where we have instruments staged, getting ready to be assembled. Okay, we're going to go on and look at our cart washer. Okay, this is the other side where clean items come out of the cart washer. It is to clean a larger items such as transport carts and containers. One of our technicians at the inspection station there, as you can see, garbed up in hospital issued scrubs through this window we can see the decontamination area where um, the process begins okay here is a technician diligently putting a set together um, this is the assembly inspection and testing of surgical instruments here each instrument set is unique it can be as small as two instruments or as large as 400 plus instruments and each technician assembles and uh, uh, confirms instruments according to what is called the count sheet. This is a detailed list of what belongs in each tray, quantity, description, etc., etc. Now back to the sterilization area where we will see um, different varieties of containment methods, rigid containers, pouches, wrapped items. Depending on the medical device, it is organized in or stored in a certain fashion. Here is one of our technicians about to containerize a finished product here. So this is a uh, surgical set that will be placed into a rigid container. It is carefully inspected. Filters are put in place so microorganisms cannot enter the container. Um, they place an identification label so that we know which tray um, is being placed in that container. Okay, for easy identification and for uh, location. Then tamper evidence seals are placed on the container. Now these seals may look very flimsy, but they have color changing properties um, so that when they're exposed to the sterling, they will change a different color. And if somebody was to open that, pa that package, then we would know that somebody con uh, contaminated or looked in that package. As stated earlier, there are other methods of um, protecting the medical device. This is the wrapping method. Um, it uses a specialized material to wrap the item called SMS or spun bound, melt blown, spun bound material. Um, there is a specific wrapping technique that each technician needs to learn to protect the medical device from contamination. And those contamination comes in forms of us humans, the environment, dust, um, changes in temperature, and of course the microorganisms that um, we produce and is all over the facility. Um, we do not want these items to be contaminated before they're used on a patient. And that is the way we protect it after sterilization. These methods create a um, very difficult path for microorganisms to get back into the medical device. So prior to um, sterilization, we do that inspection and assembly that I spoke about. 
Again, these are identified so that we know what the content of the tray is. And then this is specialized uh, sterilization tape that will change color to show the users that this item has gone through sterilization and that it is assumed safe to use on a patient. Okay, we also go into the decontamination area. One of our assignments, depending on the facility and how you're assigned um, to different areas, it may be daily, weekly, monthly, depending on the size of the facility um, and the needs of the facility. Um, we have to go into different departments. So I mentioned the assembly area, the sterilization area. Now this would be me getting ready for the decontamination area. But before I can enter that area, I need to protect myself from the environment with what's called personal protective equipment or PPE. It includes shoe covers. It includes gowns, a face mask, face shields, and gloves. Now we place them on in a specific order so that we can be comfortable and that they're completely protecting us from the environment. Everything that we wear is water resistant, fluid resistant, so that we're not getting splashed with blood or water or anything like that. Now this is the decontamination area. Again, from facility to facility, it can look as chaotic as this, or it can be very humbling or very subtle um, and relaxed. This one is a larger area. You see some of the technicians with their PPEs on. Okay, this is um, the sinks where we do the initial manual cleaning. And then lastly, you can be assigned to what's called the case cart area or the pick room. Okay, this is where the items that were assembled and sterilized and are ready for patient use are stored and picked according to the surgeon's preference the uh, specific need of the patient. So case cards are picked for specific patients on a specific day for a specific surgeon. Um, and this is the thousands of instruments and devices that are processed and used for patients. All these devices that we're showing here, that I'm showing here, and all of these shelves and, and, and um, aisles are filled with devices that are ready to be used for a patient. Okay, these are patient ready items. Now these are surgical instruments. We also pick what's called disposable instruments. Disposable instruments are one time use. They're sterilized by the manufacturer and technicians pick those items such as gloves, gowns, drapes, um, things of that nature, some disposable medical devices, et cetera, et cetera. But as you can see, this is a very large facility. So there are several aisles, um, endless aisles. It seems like it never ends, but these are all the items that are used. And this is the day in the life of a sterile processing technician, guys. Always busy and always changing. Peace.